Hello all. Right, um, I thought I'm going to do one on boots. Now your PPE is important because, well, as courier drivers it's nowhere near as important as it would be to say if you worked on site because the chance of someone driving over your foot in, um, you know, in a digger is massively reduced when you spend an awful lot of time in the front of a cab. Although when you jump out there's four trucks everywhere. So, <clears throat> and more than that, if you get to, as it happened to my mate Tony, if you turn up on site and the woman turns around and she says, well, she did in his case, uh, those aren't steals, you're not coming in, um, you miss your drop and then you might lose the money. Uh, I said to her, I said, what do you have on then? She said, I'm a normal Timberlands. I said, well, how did she know? He said, she stood on them. So, fair enough. So, now, the thing is, with the boots, is it's kind of comfort versus, you know, sort of, how strong they are. So these are the ones that I have run through since I started. Right, so we started off with these bliss. As you can see, they're quite well worn in. These are basically because I always used to wear, um, they're Timberlands, and because I always used to wear the uh, Timberland nine, the six inch boot, because I was kind of like them, I used to wear them on the market. These boots have served me very, very well. They're, um, I kind of, they, they look like Timberlands, which I approve. I mean, I always spend dough on boots because the thing is, it, to me, it's, the thing like, it's about utility, which is how much wear you get out of things. Now, it's, the thing I can never work out is like with, with the missus, if you, like, you spend crazy amounts of money on a dress that you're only going to wear once, but then you spend very little money on sort of joggers you kick around the house in that you wear every day. Wouldn't it make more sense to buy some decent joggers and then not buy a very expensive dress? So because I wear these all day, every day, I, I sort of figure, I'll have a pair of boots for six months a year. I only change if I get bored. Um, and so by the time you've actually worked out how much that cost me a day, it says the price cup of coffee. But these weren't particularly dear. The way they were, they weren't cheap. They were about, I think about 100 quid. So, but they're, they're, they're handy. Um, they kind of, yeah, they're, they're waterproof. Things I like about them, they're handy. They kind of look, they look all right. They look like the Timberlands. Uh, one thing is they're steels. So they're heavy. And they're not always that comfortable on the toes. They're kind of all right when you're driving, but if you've got to drag a pallet down a high street, or six pallets down a high street, as I had to once, not the brightest. So anyway, we move from them to... Where do they get these guys from? These are hogs. Now, the reason... Now, these are rigger boots. The reason I went for these is um, basically because they're very often honourable. So, you know, they've got the two bits there. And you... Well, I originally wanted... There was a pair of Martins out there, which looked really cool. But I couldn't get them for anywhere for love nor money. So I went for these. I was going to get the Martins riggers. So I moved away from lace boots to rigger boots. Um, because, yeah, they're very easy. In the summer, if you want, you can just kick them off in the van. They're very easy. They're easy to jump in and out. They're kind of like wellies. The disadvantage is they're kind of like wellies. Uh, these are called, they're from a place called, they're called Hogs. They're called Thor. Which makes great for me because I have a massive resemblance to Thor in the latest movie. You know, the one where he's obviously um, let himself go a bit. I think I've got returned to them there. Uh, right, so, but these again, steels, these weren't there. In comparison to the ones that I normally spend, these were about 60 quid. And I'm not quite sure where to get it from, if I can actually work out a site, but these were the rigger boots. Again, served me well, um, but at the end of the day, I, I eventually decided to move away from the steels. So we moved away from the steels, and we moved into these boys. These are composite. I highly recommend composite. Once you've done it, you'll never go back. The composite thing means that the steel toe cap is not made of steel. It's either reinforced plastic or Kevlar, or it might have bits of steel running through it, but they are so much more comfortable because um, they're not so heavy. Um, I mean, the other disadvantage if you're out on site is it's cold in the winter because steel gets cold and your toes get cold. If you've got the composite plastic, it doesn't get cold so much. Um, what else do we like about these? They're slightly higher. Um, which I'd wear outside my jeans, which meant that my jeans didn't get dirty if I ever actually go on site. And, <laughs> ignore the laces, they've got this very handy zip-up fashion thing. Now, now these were Helly Hanson. They make stuff for boats, I think. Uh, they were about, I must pay for them. Again, about 100 quid, maybe a little bit dearer. And very happy with them. To the stage, the, uh, I, even when I took them off, as you can see, I polished them. So they're clean. The only disadvantage with them, uh, a, like I say, when you do wear them outside your jeans, you don't have to wear them outside your jeans, you kind of do look a bit like you've just got off your motorbike. Um, and the other thing is, they're warm. I mean, the, the fur lining, I'll be honest, looks a bit poncy. 
when you look at the top, it's like, is he wearing fur boots? Oh, how lovely. Um, but they're not even fur lined, they're kind of fur lined down the side, and then the middle, the bottom bit isn't fur lined, which is very handy because uh, otherwise, um, your feet get really warm, I think. But no, they have been great boots, and these are now my current winter boots, but they've currently got retired because we've just taken delivery of these boys. Da, 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 da. Now, saw these. These are Timberland Pro. Gone back to laces again, but they're not, you know, they've got the little funny little lock thing on, so you just sort of sweep it around there. Um, I had to get these, these are on Amazon. Uh, these were not cheap. <laughs> I spent about 175 quid on these, but I kind of figure I'm going to have these, and between them and the Hilly Hansons, they're probably going to pretty much last me the next three years, I should think. Uh, so I don't mind doing the dough. Um, again, composite. Brilliant. And also, because it's getting into summer now, and it's getting warmer, I can't keep wearing these almighty furry things. So we're going to go with these boys. I'd say I had them on the other night to try them out around the house. Uh, and the missus says, you're going to go for a bath now. I went to Zapman have to take my boots off. They're really comfortable, really off and honourable. They kind of, I like the Timberland thing. I've always liked the Timberland thing. If I wanted to find one minor disadvantage, well, if you look at the size of that toe cap, when you've got them on, you do have a tendency to look like you're wearing clown shoes. But I don't really mind that so much because I kind of like big boots. So I'll let you know how it goes. But yeah, that's like, I'll do a video at some stage of what kind of a list of PPE and stuff like that. I've done one back in the day of kit that you need if you're going to run on the exchange. Uh, but yeah, so that's just uh, me and the new boots, which I'm very pleased about. In the meantime, I hope you're all well. And um, yeah, I'm going to go back to it. And you guys, take care, take money.